Good day to you. Fellow members of the intergalactic resistance against dystopian bastardry, it is I, George Orwell, with an urgent message for planet Earth as it embarks on a new orbit, transmitting via the juice channeling portal. Our time is short, so let's get straight to the point, shall we? This transmission goes out to all you internet citizens, denizens of the one remaining free frequency, in whose hands rests the fate of humanity. Lord. When I last appeared to you, I warned you, noobs, you must not lose the internet. Now before I proceed, let us clarify one crucial thing. The internet is not virtual reality, it is actual reality. Are you still with me? Good. Now ask yourselves, would you let some fascist dictate with whom you can and cannot communicate? Because that's what happens every time a government blacklists a website domain. Would you let anyone force you to get all your information from cable TV? That's effectively the case if you allow corporations to kill net neutrality. Would you let the Thought Police install telescreens in your house, monitor and record everything you do, every time you move, every word you've read, to peer into the most private nook of all, your head? Because that's what happens when you let your governments monitor the net and enact mandatory data retention laws! If you answered no to all those questions, then we can safely deduce that terms like online, IRL, and in cyberspace are newspeak. They confuse the truth. There is no cybersphere, there is only life here. It follows that if you have an oppressive internet, you have an oppressive society too. Remember, online is real life. Your digital rights are no different from everyday human rights. And don't give me that BS that you don't care about privacy because you have nothing to hide. That's pure doublethink. As Comrade Snowden clearly explained, that's like saying you don't care about free speech because you have nothing to say. Stick that up your memory holes and smoke it. Nope. Pig's ass! The portal is closing! I'm losing you! I'll leave you with a new tool to use. I assume you've all been fitted with one of these spying devices. Well, here's an app you can use in spite of this. It's called Signal, and yes, it's free and simple. Install it and tell all your contacts to mingle. Then all your calls and texts will be encrypted. So even if Big Brother sees them, they won't be able to read them. Ha ha! Now that's a smartphone! Our time is up! Until the next transmission, heed the words of George Orwell. Or should I say, George Torwell. Remember, just as I went to Spain to fight the dirty fascists, you can come to Onionland now and fight Big Brother's filthy tactics. If you're a pro, run a node and strengthen the code. Or if you're in the outer party and can afford it, send Tor some of your dough. Now go forth and fight Big Brother. That mendacious mother-fucking, sucking bastard son of a corporatist bitch.